Veteran Saloon, sponsored by Devon James Injury Lawyers. It is time for our weekly segment, Veteran Salute, our chance to honor those in our community who have served. And before we get to tonight's story, if you have a veteran in your life that you'd like to nominate for this particular segment, just go to the Veteran Salute portion on our website at KSNT.com. You click on the new button, Nominate a Veteran. Tonight, 27 News reporter Matthew Johnstone introduces us to Vietnam veteran John Corsack. Originally from New Jersey, John Corsack became a Kansan through K-State. After receiving his electrical engineering degree, he was called to serve his country overseas at the Army headquarters in Vietnam. From an early age, John Corsack was instilled with the value of community service. He's always kept an eye out for ways to help others. That's my way of life. I mean, I, I, that's the way I was brought up and that's the way I, uh, I live my life, uh, volunteering for a lot of different things. That selfless nature would prove vital for Corsack after he received his draft notice and orders for Vietnam. I had been drafted a number of times previously, but since I was in school, it was deferred. But once I graduated, uh, I knew that I was going to go into the military. So uh, that was that was part of my uh, my duty to, to my country. I mean, they, uh, so that's, there was no question about it. You know, I'm just going to go. Overseas, Corsac served at the U.S. Army headquarters in Long Bin, Vietnam. Part of the aviation section, he worked closely with majors and kept track of all the Army aircraft. When I got there, we were at heightened alert and uh, uh, the perimeter was uh, expanded. The perimeter area was expanded and I did a lot of uh, guard duty on a perimeter. We got shelled uh, by rockets on, on a regular basis. Uh, I can't say you got used to them, but you became uh, aware of them as uh, to the point where it didn't bother you as much. But if it was going to hit you, it was going to hit you. You had no, no say in that. Additionally, Corsac went along with pilots to keep up proficiency. He took to the skies at least a dozen times. There's a lot of support people that go into maintaining that equipment and uh, uh, um, guarding that equipment and uh, obviously flying that equipment. But uh, everybody did their part. Today, John is still finding ways to serve his community, being a part of the Emporia VFW, American Legion, and Rotary Club, where John has been a member for about 50 years. Working for you, Matthew Johnstone, 27 News. We keep highlighting veterans in our community every week, just like John. Again, if you'd like to nominate somebody for this segment, you go to the Veteran Salute portion at KSNT.com. You click on that Nominate a Veteran button. As you probably know, each time we do this, the honored veteran receives a gift. Take a look. The Devon James Injury Lawyer is here with our Veteran of the Week, and that's Army 4th Class Specialist John Corsack, who proudly served our country during Vietnam. On behalf of all of Kansas, thank you so much for your service. Thank you, sir. Veteran Salute, sponsored by Devon James Injury Lawyers.